gathered friends, listen again to our legend of the Bionicle. Hello everyone, it's Brian, and here on Amajanui Tales, we will be diving into the diverse characters of Bionicle. Today, we will be opening up the secrets of the ancient freakish being known as Trenkrom. Trenkrom was a mysterious, fully organic being who predated the Makuta and the Great Spirit Matanui. His power rivaled the Great Spirit, being one of the first with the knowledge of the inner workings of the Matoran universe. The entity was extremely skilled in telepathy, able to probe a victim's thoughts and affect their mental state. Although the victim can also dive into Trenkrom's mind, it was unpleasant. The monster can swap minds with other beings with their consent. He can also sprout extra eyes to fire disintegration beams, can manipulate his surrounding environment, and can create his own monsters. Trenkrom's appearance was disturbing and horrifying to all. His organic crimson body had sharp hooked tentacles, and his eyes were sunk inside of a large gelatinous skull. Due to his hideous appearance, those who looked upon the monster went insane. Trenkrom was first created by the great beings and was placed in the core of the Matorn universe, Kardanui, to manage the universe while it was being completed. With the creation of Matanui, a Matoran approached the organic being to inform him that his work is over. The great beings fused Trenkrom to a remote island and trapped him there forever. During the early years of the completed universe, the Brotherhood of Makuta sought out Trenkrom to ensure that he was not a threat. Makuta Mutran went to his island and confronted him. Trenkrom merged minds with Mutran to probe the Makuta's thoughts. In doing so, Mutran was given the knowledge of the inner workings of the Matoran universe, as well as who Trenkrom was. Mutran's knowledge later became vital in aiding Makuta Teradax's plan to overthrow Mata Nui. Many centuries later, a team of Expendables led by Brutaka visited Trenkrom's island to obtain a hidden weapons catch. Trenkrom attacked the team and interrogated them, wanting to know more about the universe outside of the island. When one of the team members warned Trenkrom of the Makuta ruling the universe, Trenkrom became furious and gave the team nightmaric visions. One team member, the Baraki, Karapar, attempted to kill the monstrous being, but was disintegrated by the being's third eye. Trenkrom sent the team away, believing they deserved their fate for creating the universe they were living in. After Makuta Teradax took over the Matorn universe, Toa Nuva Liwa was sent to the island by the titan Artaka to persuade Trenkrom to fight the Makuta. Trenkrom informed Liwa that the only way to free him was to swap minds. Liwa accepted this, and the two switched bodies. With his new body, Trenkrom planned to remove Teradax and save the universe from destruction. The being was teleported to Metronui by Artaka, and met with two Matoran and the rogue Toa of Water, Tuyet. After scanning their minds and fooling the Matoran, Trenkrom encountered the Toahaga who were acting strangely. He removed the illusion that was placed on the Toa team by Teradax. Trenkrom soon headed to the Colosseum, intending to relay a message to Matanui. Trenkrom and others arrived in the core processor, the room that used to house the mind of Matanui. After freeing Makuta Miserix, who was present and stuck in an illusion, Trenkrom sent a message to Matanui using the machinery around him, which was received by the Konohi Iknika on the world of Barra Magna. This message later became critical to Teradax's defeat. Then Trenkrom got involved in a conflict with other beings in the chamber, siding with those who wanted to save the universe. Artaka arrived in the middle of the conflict and requested Trenkrom to leave Liwa's body. Having faith that Matanui will resolve everything, Trenkrom allowed Artaka to restore Trenkrom and Liwa to their original bodies. After the death of Makuta Teradax, Trenkrom was freed from his island by Velika, a great being disguised as a Matoran. Despite his freedom, 
Trancrom was soon killed by the great being and sent out a scream that showed the image of the Red Star to those that heard him. His remains were left scattered in a forest on the newly reformed planet of Spheris Magna. If you'd like to see more tales, check out our channel and our videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is the way of the Bionicle.